And Samsara definitely confirming that Peach is better. Debatable. No, no, it's not. Debatable. No, uh -huh. Samsara did go Daisy uh, in pools a he couple lost. of times. <laughs> he didn't lose. Not, not at Shine, but yeah, not at Shine. So Nino <coughs> definitely has got some great ground play to work with. But right now he's able to get this damage right now. Really impressive Ken play as we've seen before. He's able to stay on winners for a reason. And here comes that combo string. Excellent work. We can see so often Peach and Daisy can rack up 65% in just a snap. And so many players with these low percents and mid percent combos that these two characters have. It's going to be an absolute slugfest at the beginning and of each game. And needs to be careful with that. And George is killing already. It Nino. does. Daisy, of course, among the lightest characters in the game. And we saw it right there. If you manage to catch him in the right setup, that stock will be evaporated. And he's definitely feeling the pressure now. Down here catching Mal into the grab. So Dito, forcingly a cover position in situation. But I love the fact that he likes to recover high using that Tatsumaki. And he's able to get minimal punishment. But right now, forced into a really bad situation off stage. Just, no punish yet. Yeah, wanted to get the focus to space around the turnip, but just recover it onto the stage himself, and Razo will punish that 11 times out of 10. And here comes the combo strings, 58%, just like you said. But remember, Ken can do the exact same thing. Yeah, as we saw right there, gets the dare spike, and Daisy is going to be too low. Razo already out of that second stock after that stylish nair from Nito, dressed for the occasion because that was fancy. That was, he suited up. I mean, oh my god, Nito just doing such an impressive job, but it's these situations where he's stuck in a corner. He seems to find the most uncomfortable, but here we go. Impressive Ken play coming into play, but once again in the corner, and he can't find it out. Same answer, no kill just yet. That fair, although that turn uh -oh. it, that second turn it might intercept him if the first one didn't. Ooh. No, he makes it back. He's able to make it back just in time, but great call out Razo catching out the roll. Yeah, runs right into Daisy's backside, and all of a sudden, we're back into the game again. Fair. That shield looking mighty small from Razo though has to float above it. Just not only not only threatening from above, but letting that shield recharge as well. And he's throwing out the slow Hadouken to force Razo into a defensive option. And here comes the Sharyuken, 88% already. He is one more kill confirmed away from dying. But the getup attack from Razo will protect his recovery against Nito. Nito just gonna focus around with this movement. Play at a distance, which is not something you see Ken players and especially Nito do, but has to do it at the moment. Mm -hmm. And right now he's forced into a bad situation, but here comes the comma strings. Great tech away to get away from that situation. Razo, he knows if he forces Nito off stage, he's got an advantage, but they're both playing in the mid area in this neutral game. They know that they're one hit away from killing each other, but Nito forced off stage once more. Hadouken gonna buy himself a little bit of time. A great read by Razo. Yeah, just as the Tatsumaki expired, already waiting with that aerial punish. And now, all of a sudden, only 8% separating these two players. Can he get the 1-2 combo? Nito knows he just needs a strong jab into a Shoryuken. Oh no, he fell he out of fell it! fell out! That's the problem with Ken that people have been talking about, but he's got the second one. Yeah, won't fall out of that one, Nito. After almost throwing that game away just due to unfortunate circumstances, the unranked Nito We'll take game one over the ranked Razo. Oh my god. PGR placements, Nito's going on. And if there's if there's someone I want to say, I want to say Nito get on that PG placement. He's been doing so well. This Ken play, and he's staying on winners this entire time. He is SoCal PR looking threatened at the moment. Razo just mulling over his options as far as stage counter picks go. I don't think he's going to deviate away from Daisy. He might go to Peach, because that's the Peach quote unquote counter pick that a lot of Daisy players have, but, but Definitely a heart attack when he fell out of that Shoryuken. Certainly. I think Nito popped off a bit preemptively yeah. there. I mean, that's, I mean, how would you... You don't even know that's going to happen. And autom I mean, just out of nowhere, you fall out of a kill confirm just like that. It spells disaster, but thankfully Nito was able to secure it. Yes, yeah, so as soon as we saw that red splash green, I was just prepared for that game to be over. But had that second lease of life and wasn't able to make the most of it. And here comes the back here. It actually trips him out. Here come it comes. The aerials once more by the Tatsumaki forcing him out. And grounded landing. Now Razo with the dash attack finally going to tack on this extra percent. Ooh. 
And remember, focus attack can tank through one hit. So Daisy's down there is going to be really good at forcing it out because the armor he hits. Great job right there. The turn up not going to be able to find its mark, but Kito wants more force in these really bad edge guard situations. He's forced on this ledge and trapped there until he can finally find his way out. And here comes the strikes. He went for the level two but couldn't find it, but he surely finds it on the second one. Yeah, the Shoryuken, not quite enough to kill, just didn't get the strength of the hit he wanted, but had enough time after the... Oh, he no, fell, he fell out, out of yeah, he again. That's just a byproduct of Daisy being that light. Just didn't have as much. Gets him with a down tilt, though. And this he's might got spell it. trouble. He surely won't fall out of the game. It'll spell trouble for Razo this time. That Shoryuken, not going to fall out that time. Well spaced. Just had him up close and personal. Those are little blessings from Sakurai himself when you fall out of those Shoryuken sands. Razo unable to find it. It really shows that Nito says, you can follow out as many as you want. I'll catch you with another confirm sooner or later. Forced in this really bad situation. But remember, it's when he's in these bad ledge traps. He's going to the turnip he is. That's going to force him backwards. The second one will connect, but the farewell, Razo. Before things get too out of hand, already back into this. And, but he catches him out with the aerial. Here comes the easy damage. Catches it out, both of them catching the turnips. But seems that Nito's going to get hit up with that one. Axe kick, surely be a lot of damage, but a great tech hit, but a great read from Razo, knowing exactly where it's going to happen. Here it comes, he's looking for the confirm, he knows he wants it. Hadouken Razo. and the turnips trading, so a couple of projectiles, but the Daisy Bomber will send him right back into the fray. Razo has to be a bit more careful just around these Hadoukens. And he's looking for an up air into a level 2 shore, you can... He knows that it will work out. He's forcing into really bad situations. He's going to go ahead and run up. But that back air forcing out a little bit of space. But great usage of the shirt. You to get away with it. But Nito forcing that situation. Was that a stitch race? It just might have life? been. Gets another turn up. And now, oh, he had the jump. He oh, can serve it. the jump. Excellent work from Nito. Just making the most of his resources and not wasting them early. And he's looking for an air. He knows he wants this confirmed. Nito 145 with this much rage. It's surely going to kill Haduka that close. It's not going to be safe, and dash attack surely will kill. And now Razo playing with the lead for the first time, just cycling through these turns, hoping to pull, you know, perhaps a Sitch Trace or even a Saturn or Bomb. And here it comes, here it comes to confirm. Unable to find it, and immediately Razo strikes back with a combo of his own. Yeah, Razo finally getting this ledge pressure that he's been looking for. All set, <gasps> he fell, fell out, out of it for the third time. How unlucky can Nito be? I don't know, it's starting to bite him in the back right now, but that confirm will surely take it 77%. This is definitely not impossible for him. Yeah, all three times Nito just had Razo falling out of those Shoryukens, all three times he was able to get the kill right after. So that not, you know, not losing his composure, playing as confidently as ever, and he's going to have to if he's going to make up 50%. And here comes 54% immediately striking back. Finally takes a little bit of tax, a little bit of damage on himself, but he needs to find a confirm. I think if he attacks a little more rage, 112%, I'm pretty sure a strong jab into a short you can should kill. And here comes the Tatsumaki. Razu's gotta be careful. That short that short you can has his name on it. Yeah, well within kill percent at the moment. Razu has to be careful. Parries it. No confirm just yet. That could have been it, but no fun following up. He's got the shield up, but. Nothing able to get out just yet. Bathroom forcing off stage. Here comes the dot S, but thankfully he's able to get away with it. Now, Razo, oh, gets the down air, but just not able to convert anything off of it. Nito, just waiting into, waiting for Razo to approach. Oh, and the peach, the Daisy Bomber makes it back though. Crescent kick, forcing it out. Down smash actually gonna be the one to force it out, but Nito, 129, here it comes! That strong, strong leg from Nito, and he pulls the upset. An unranked player in Nito defeats Razo, a top 10 player in SoCal. You Excel can? Excellent work.